The technique of these tapes are separate into different groups according to the attacks or the grabs. The first group is the chest grab. The attacker grab your chest with his right hand. With your right thumb, press into the cavity point of your attacker's hand and turn it into a clockwise direction and apply pressure on his wrist. The second one is also a chest grab. And this time, you're also locking the attacker's wrist, but this time you're turning into an opposite direction as the first one. The next one is also a chest grab. And now you wrap your left arm around your opponent's right arm and push down on his elbow and the shoulder. The next one is a double hand chest grab. With your both hand holding the attacker's arm and turn it and lock his both hands. This is another single chest grab. This time with your right hand with the front pressing in to the inner elbow of the opponent. There's a cavity points over there which will create a lot of pain on the arm. The next one is a shoulder grab followed by a punch to the head. You block with your right arm and turn it clockwise and lock both of your opponent's hand or arm. The next one is a grab from behind. With your left hand put on top of your opponent's hand and lock the position, and with your right elbow pressing down, apply pressure on the wrist. This is a shoulder grab from behind. With your left hand putting on top of the attacker's hand and your right arm wrap around the attacker's arm and apply pressure on the elbow and the shoulder. This is the same grab as before, this time with the right hand grabbing the shoulder muscle. Now we move to another group which is hair grab. The first one is hair grab from the front. With your left hand, fingers, taking into the cavity point between the thumb and the index finger,
And the next one is hair grab from behind. With your left hand, secure his hand on your head and turn your body around with the right elbow pressing down on his forearm and elbow. This one is a forearm grab or a wrist grab. The attacker grab your right arm with his left. With your right hand turning in anti-clockwise direction and holding your opponent's forearm and apply pressure on his wrist. The next grab is also a wrist grab with the attacker's right arm grabbing your left arm. This is a two-hand grab. First put the attacker's left arm on his own inner elbow and press forward and downward to create pressure on his elbow. This is also a forearm grab. With the right hand, wrap around the attacker's arm. And the right hand also grabbing the shoulder muscle. This is a two-hand grab the forearm with the attacker's left hand on top. When you practice this technique with your partner, you be very careful when you're applying pressure on the joints. The next one is two hand grab from behind. The attacker grab both of your arm from behind and you turn around and holding his both hand and locking his both arm at the elbow joint. This is another double hand grab on the forearm. This is another technique that locking the attacker's both arm at the elbow joint. This is also a two-hand forearm grab. This time with your right hand turning clockwise and putting pressure on the attacker's wrist. This is a reverse wrist grab. Grab your opponent's hand and turn it over your body by twisting his arm. The next one is upper arm grab.
you put a lot of pressure on your opponents by wrapping your right arms around his left arm. This is another forearm grab by both of the attacker's hands. By putting your forearm on top of your opponent's palm and putting pressure on his wrist. The next group is against punches. The first one is against two punches, one on the top and one on the midsection, one follow each other. Block the first one with your right and then catch the left one. The next one is against a reverse punch to the face. Block the punch with your left arm and with your left finger hooking into the collarbone. The next one is also against a reverse punch to the head. Block with the right and go around to your opponent's back with your left hand, pull his head to the side at the chin. This is another technique to against the punch. This time you take your opponent down by pushing his chin and also with the right leg sweeping his legs. The next group of techniques against the neck choke. The first one, your attacker choking your neck with his both hands. With your two forearms, applying pressure on your opponent's elbows and also the knee was pressing down against his. You are applying pressure on both his hand and the leg. The next one is a full Nelson lock. First you have to do is step on his feet to break the lock and elbow straight to the stomach and then to the groin and, the, and to the head. That's another full Nelson lock from behind. This time you place your right leg behind your opponent and with the elbow striking to his chest and take him down. Now we move to another group. This one is a race lock from behind. First, with the right elbow straight to the neck, and then grab the attacker's right arm and take him down and lock the elbow. This one is a headlock.
grab the attacker's hair with your right and then step on his knee and then with both hands turning his head. The next one is two hand race grab. This is another technique that grabbing the muscle on the shoulder that will create a lot of pain. The next one is a waist grab from the front. With both hand grabbing the attacker's forearm and push it down and also place your leg against his shoulder. The next one is a front bear hug. First push the hip of the attacker to break the hole and with your two arm wrap around his and putting a lot of pressure on his elbow. The next one is against a side kick by locking the ankle. Here to show you feel of the pressure point on the arm. When you practice this, you have to get the position correctly by placing your thumb on those positions and see your opponent feel the pain. You have to be very precise to have those techniques to be effective. Next technique is initiated with a handshake. By locking your opponent's wrist. By wrapping your left arm against his right arm. The next one is a neck choke from behind. With your left finger pressing on one of the pressure points on your attacker's arm and placing his arm on top of your shoulder to break his shoulder or elbow. Now let's move to the weapons. The first technique against a short pole or a stake by blocking with your left arm and wrap your right arm behind the attacker's right arm and lock him at the elbow. Next one is to against a knife attack pointing at the chin. With your left hand pulling the knife against from you and with the knee strike to the groin. This is also a technique 
to against the knife pointing at your chin. By placing the attacker's arm that holding the knife on his elbow and with a kick to the groin. The next technique is against a stepping to the chest with a knife. Parry with the left and then wrap your right arm against the attackers and with the three fingers hook to the floor. And also you apply pressure on the elbow too. This is a similar technique to the one that we've seen before, but this time you wrap your left arm around and pull his hair. This is a different technique than against a knife attack. Block with the right arm and grab the attacker's forearm and place the knife towards him and follow by a knee strike to the head. The next one is against a gun, a handgun pointing at your head. When you're doing those techniques, you have to react very fast by pulling the gun that pointed at your head away from you and with the knee strike to the groin. This is another technique against a handgun pointing at your head. This time is pointed from the side of your head. With your both hand up and grab the hand of the attacker that's holding the gun and bend his hand towards him. This is a technique against a handgun pointing from behind. Turn around quickly with the left hand locking the attacker's right arm and the right elbow to the face. The next one is against the pole that's striking downward to you. Block with the left. With the right hand, grab the leading arm and wrap his arm around the pole. And this one is against a spear. Blocking with the right arm and turn your body around and wrap the arm against the opponent's leading arm and putting pressure on the elbow and also with the left knee 